Greetings everyone, Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 2nd November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court has held that a party who was not supplier on the date of entering into contract cannot seek any benefit as the supplier under the MSMED Act 2006 and if any registration is obtained subsequently, the same would have an effect prospectively. The court has held that by handing over money with the intent of giving bribe, bribe giver will be assisting or will knowingly be a party to an activity connected with the proceeds of a crime and therefore will fall under the scope of Section 3 of PMLA. The court has admitted a special leave petition against a Guwahati High Court decision upholding a 2020 Assam Assembly law according to which all state-run madrasas were to be converted into general educational institutions. News from the High Courts, starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court has held that increase in salaries of office bearers of a commission is a policy decision of the state and the courts should refrain from interfering with the same unless it is found to be manifestly arbitrary or unreasonable. The High Court, while dismissing PIL, seeking directions for permitting homeopathic treatment of mild COVID-19 cases, has held that expert bodies like Indian Council of Medical Research are the best judge to decide and accord approval in respect of medical protocol. The High Court has held that CPDT circular which contemplates admission of appeal before the filing of declaration as a condition precedent for the appeal to be treated as pending and eligible for settlement under the Vivaad Se Vishwas scheme VSV Act is contrary to law. The High Court has temporarily restrained former coach of Indian women hockey team Shud Marhaine and HarperCollins Publishers India from publishing confidential information about women players in his upcoming memoir. The High Court, while dealing with plea raising the issue of right of foreign nationals to solemnize and register their marriage under Special Marriage Act 1954, has held that there is no way that the state can prohibit interfaith couples to marry. News highlights from the Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court has held that the protection guaranteed under Article 20, Subclause 3 of the Constitution of India does not extend to protecting an accused from being compelled to give his blood sample during the investigation of a criminal case. The High Court has set aside the order for transfer of Kozikode Principal District and Sessions Judge S. Krishna Kumar, who made the controversial sexually provocative dress remark in Civic Chandran's case. News highlights from high courts in other parts of the country. The Madras High Court, while criticizing public authorities' delaying action upon complaints by citizens against government officials, has held that failure of public authorities to take action upon complaints would result in people's no confidence in the public authorities. The Bombay High Court has held that children, though brought up in an orphanage, cannot be declared as orphans as defined.